Hey, welcome back y'all. We are up in the attic today working on this Honeywell ERV. We have to do a little bit of cleaning on this thing and we're going to try to make some custom filters, replacement filters. Not really custom, but uh, some extra replacement filters for this thing. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's check this thing out. This is my Honeywell ERV. I've got a bunch of videos on this thing that I've made. I got a whole playlist about it, installing it, maintaining it, complaining about it usually. You might be able to hear it running, so we're gonna turn this thing off. And let's open this thing up. One thing I don't like about it, you gotta clean this thing every so often and it gets really dirty inside. A lot of bugs, a lot of dirt. A lot of pollen. If I can, there we go. Come on. You okay? Yeah. Now this is where it pulls air out of the house. A lot of dust. This is the side where it's pulling air into the house. A lot of dust, a lot of bugs in there. These replacement filters right here, or these filters, I normally pull them out, wash them off, put them back in. These filters right here are about $50 for the pair. I don't want to spend $50. Now they're okay, but I, you know, I normally, when I wash them, I have to let them dry for like a day or two and I can't run my ERV. So we're gonna try something. I bought this thing, this big 20 inch by 30 inch. We'll put it down here. Big blue filter here, cheap filter. So this thing was $8 at the big box store and it's made to just grab some scissors and cut it out to size. It is a little bit thicker than these right here, but I think it'll work. You can squish it down and slide it in there. It's starting to rain. I have a metal roof. You might hear it. Found this random bucket in my attic. So we're gonna pull these old filters out and I'm not in a hurry to clean these now. I'll get to it the next couple of days. It's supposed to be raining all day today. But I'll wash these at some point in the next few days, clean them up, put them in the basement so they'll be ready to swap out next time. So we'll just stick them in here for now. Grab this real, real nasty one. Oh, these wasps are all dead. We're gonna slide this core out of here. I'll set her down right here. I've got my wet dry back here. Nothing too fancy. And we're just gonna run over all the sides here. Suck out all the dust and bugs we can. Whatever got through those blue filters. I'm done vacuuming the core. Now we're gonna work on this. We're gonna vacuum this door and vacuum out the inside a little bit. Got a lot of dust and bugs in there. Looking pretty good, but we've got a lot of dust all up in here that's real hard to get to, all back up in there. So we're gonna try something new. Got this uh, duster kit. I think I paid $3.48 for this from the big box store. I got this little thing put together. It comes with five of these little duster things. So let's see. And, uh, what this thing will do. Well, I don't think you can tell on the video, but I can tell it's working really good. So I'm going to fire up the vacuum cleaner because there's a bunch of dust floating around. I think a lot of it's sticking to this, you can see, but a lot of it is just kind of blowing around. I also got to get in these little uh, fan blades, little wheel thing here. This one is the worst one where, uh, where it comes into the ERV. So I'll use this thing 
while I'm using the vacuum and I'll just kind of brush it up in there maybe lock up knock a bunch of that dust loose and whatever this thing doesn't capture or cling on to the vacuum will hopefully just suck it out of there this little duster kit is the best thing I've ever used to clean this ERV it worked really good I went ahead and vacuumed this old filter off a little bit so I didn't have to deal with so much dust now we're gonna go to art glass and we're just gonna cut this thing out one cool thing is that these stick together pretty good, so maybe while I'm cutting it out, they won't be shifting around so much. Probably would be better with a straight edge and a razor knife and just slice across. And that looks pretty good. As far as I can tell, these are the same thickness. Well, I mean, obviously this one's thicker, but I mean uh, density. I mean, I can't really see through this one. Can't really see through that one. So they should work about the same, but these are a way cheaper. It looks like this piece right here is going to be the right size for my second one. So that means I can have two more extras up here. So I just got four of these filters for $8 instead of ordering two for 50. We're gonna put our core back in here. If I can get it lined up. It's raining hard again outside. Now let's check out our new filters. Oh yeah. She's a little snug. But it fits. Looks good. Let's try this other one. Got a little piece of something right there. And it's a little bit tight. Well, that looks beautiful. Looks really good. I think it'll work just fine. Let's close the door, turn this on, and make sure this thing works. I just run this all the time, continuous all day long sounds like it's running it's working i think we did a great job and we saved some money by cutting out our own filters thanks for hanging out with me on another project i'll see you soon